what's going on out there check it out all right i got my blue eddy got it all hooked up and i want to wire all my dc components to a fuse panel to go to the blue eddy so there's a million videos out there about the blue eddy now and there's not really one that's quick and easy and simple showing you how you can hook your components up to the blue eddy we're going to break that down for you okay so the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get onto amazon or somewhere and you're going to have to order some of these xt90 you got a male in you got a female in those click together and that gives you power okay one of them goes to the blue eddy it comes with it the other one that you have to buy and i'll put a link below you have to wire that to your fuse panel got your hat got your ground wire them to your fuse panel and then it's a connect and go you're good to go so let's take a closer look all right so let's see how we connect this you've got your xt90 connector you've got your positive and your ground you're going to put ring connectors on your xt90 cord on the end of your cord here the reason why i use the ring connectors is because i don't want vibration of driving to pull them off so i put my ring connectors on there and you can see this one's the positive it goes on here and that's the negative that brings power to this fuse panel from your xt90 cord and you just plug that in to your blue eddy then you take your cords from your fan or from your lights from your water pump and you run those you've got your grounds at the top and then you've got your hots on the bottom run each one of those individually put a fuse on them and you're good to go so what you want to make sure that you do when you connect you've got your fuse panel when you hook up your cord you want to make sure that you put a fuse in there okay now if you're not running a lot of big stuff and you've got these cooked up that's totally up to you i want to i want it a backup okay so now that we've set up the fuse panel let's talk about your power cords okay i have two cords you can use either one with the blue eddy if you're going to use a jackery or a different type of setup you need this cord right here okay it's got your typical cigarette lighter adapter on one end and it's got the xt90 on the other end you plug your xt90 into the fuse panel that you just wired with the xt90 connector and then that goes to your jackery or solar generator and you are now able to power your fuse panel okay make sure that you're using the right side of size of fuse so that you don't ruin any of your devices the second cord this one comes with your blue eddy okay one of those does too this one comes with your blue eddy now i had to make a second one of these why because i have a solar system this is the connector cord to your solar system okay that goes into your input this goes to your mp4 connectors and that's how you solar charge your blue eddy but this cord is also the cord that you hook up to your 25 amp 12 volt connection this plugs in there this plugs into your fuse panel that you just made and now you have 12 volt 25 amp service so quick and easy quick and easy just depends on how much power how much you're going to be using um inside your setup so but whether you've got the jackery the blue eddy or any other solar generator you can hook up your fuse panel quick and easy xt90 
a little bit of wiring, good to go. All right, so I got my LED lights on. There's six of them, and my max air fan at 100%. I'm pulling 50 to 52 watts, 3.8 amps, and yeah, so that's gonna be plenty enough for what I need. doesn't get easier than that plug and play so all right so thanks for following along I hope this was helpful to somebody I know that when I was looking it was really hard to find like what exactly needs to be done to make that wire all of that so anyway so thanks for following along we'll see you guys on the next adventure